this video is about the Korean surplus shop. I'm here right now in the new branch of the Korean surplus in Lahog. They are now concentrated on this area in Mabolo. It's still the same owner, one of the biggest Korean surplus or used items from Korea. And as the saying goes, one man's um, trash is another man's treasure. Hello! Asa si Kaila? Yes! <laughs> I'll look around, ma'am. Tomorrow, new arrival. New arrival? Wow! Okay, okay, sige. I'll look around, huh? Yeah, you're close over there. I've said, I've said, I've so, saw you there. So here you can see they got cosmetics. The owner just told me that she got a new container coming tomorrow. Oh, kailan na ako no? So you can see there's a lot of cosmetics. These are manicures, um, lip tints for only twenty pesos. These are all brands from Korea. So they are now all concentrating here. You can see this furniture here. Before it's twenty two thousand, now it's seventeen thousand. So there. Quite nice. So you can see that it's all loaded with all their stocks from their branch in Lahug. And now they are all here in Mabolo across Caltex Mabolo, which is the Pope John Paul Road. If you look at the map of Cebu City, this is where you find the Korean surplus. That is quite um, fully stocked most of the time. So they got clothes, furnitures, old shoes, kitchen wares, appliances, use appliances from Korea. I buy my um, flower pots here, you know, old saucers and cups or bowls that I have made holes on the bottom and make it into flower pots. Mogi apun tak 400 ang kilo ani? 300 pesos per kilo now for the old flower up uh, pots and pans. And you got the old rice cookers. So I'll give you a tour around. The go. I was just pointing to them that someone's asking there. The sofas up there. So the good thing around here, if you are paying cash, you can haggle down the price. And since I'm friendly with a Korean here that owns this, because remember my crime caught on camera video where the Korean that owns this place her bag was snatched that, that video was used as evidence as well against that person that snatched her purse so bags plates so this is the one I mean you know this use pots they got some nice ones that I make holes on the bottom and make it like two flower pots. Mattresses.
display cabinets. Let's just go. There are some dressers, 3,000 pesos. Microwaves, air fryers. Vacuum cleaners. Microwave is ranged from 2,000 pesos to 2,500. So, not really a good bargain as far as I'm concerned because um, you can buy microwaves at 2 grand now. The pots and pans, our uh, pots and pans are now the same price at 300 pesos per kilo. All this use bowls but the frying pans ordinary ceramics and melamine is 150 per kilo ordinary ceramics is 100 per kilo so that's the prices and then the frying pans 400 per kilo Glass, sewing machines. Sometimes you do find the odd thick stainless steel and still brand new. Unused, um, you know, unwanted gifts. That's the one, the word I'm looking for. Look at this, so heavy. The office table here is 3,000 pesos but you can just haggle with the owner she can give you a good price if you're paying cash there's the sofa again on the top leather sofas have a look at the what can be useful around the cafe that's not you know not for consumption that 300 pesos per kilo that's for 300 pesos per kilo this side table here is 2500 this area that's her cooking area I suppose that table uh, bedside cabinet or drawer is 2,000 pesos mm. then you go. this cabinet is 12,000 So, display cabinet, this is what I mean that some of this can be useful in some houses, you don't, you're not using it for food like um, those cutleries and pots and pans. That's 8,000 pesos for that display cabinet. This one is 13,000 pesos. They're act she's actually putting price on this one now. That's 3,000 pesos a bit better bedside cabinet bedside drawer suppose 3k and the bottom part is 4,000 the mirrors and you got this 
Look, little cabinets. Display cabinet there is 15,000 pesos. Korean style box 6k. This one 3k. Another display box. A cabinet there at 17k. Mirror 1k. If you want to open, please inform sales lady. All right. This is a three set cabinet, display cabinet for 25,000. Quite beautiful, actually. There's another one here. No price, but you know, I, I suspect it's around about. 12 to 15,000 because the small one on the side is 12,000. Look, 7,000 now. 18. That one the facing is 14,000. Before it's 20,000, it's now lowering it down to 14,000. Two red. Office drawers. File. Mm. That's for pens. Two thousand pesos each. That one here. You ask me the k Fourteen K. The twelve thousand. They even have beds. Two five. Mom, why you transfer? Why not there? Ah, there, man. Already contracting, Ah, okay. Here you start a bigger here anyway. No, ma'am. Bigger here is bigger. Yeah. There, but we uh, we want to uh extension. Yes. Then. Oh, no, it's not accepted. Oh, okay. So you're living here? Mm -hmm. Living in the area? Na mm -hmm. sila diri? Oh, okay. Ah, uh, so they have transferred from Lahug to here. So remember, um, I used to video their place in Lahug, and you can see they got some very nice items. That you even got that collection there. So they have a big uh, container, Osaka container, uh, big container that will arrive tomorrow. That's why he's that she's telling me. But you know, some people really like looking at all this uh, used items that they still still in good condition that they can use on their homes. Five hundred, four hundred, three 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 hundred, so if you don't mind about news use items that you could still be useful around your home this is one of the good place to visit the Korean surplus in Pope John Paul Road Cebu City and you can find some real nice items and bargain prices
300 before 800. Before 800. Ah, before 800. Now, 500. Oh, how much is the price the people with the... Asa, asa, asa. The mine? Yes, yes, yes. Are you sir? Oh. I like this stand. Uh, this is actually a cabinet, I suppose. Well, you... So the owner is now know how to speak Bisaya a little bit now. Oh, 9K for this stand. Made of rattan. Before look the cabinet it's 18k now 3k that's a display cabinet there with no glass but it's not hard to put glass on this one unless you want um tempered there's only 3000 pesos this is bookshelves very narrow can be useful with the kids how much is this This one. You know, in the cafe. To put more stuff in. This one's one eight. Another office drawer. Filing cabinet. One five. That's a good one. I just take this out first. One five for this office drawer. Filing cabinet one. For pens and stuff. And these are for the files. Ouch. Three thousand pesos for this. Oh, another filing cabinet. Oh, melamine job. Uh huh. Oh. It's not hard to change the lock on this one. I mean the cover, but the quality is still good. Made of solid plastic. This is another filing cup drawer. Yeah. 
carpets. That's where I buy some of my carpets. The used one, but not that kind. It's crap. That is bed sheets. What is this? Wardrobe with all this. Oh my god. Side bags and pots. They got their cookers, the kitchen area here. They're still displaying, you can see. 3,000 for that. 3,000 for this. So if you want to visit here, you can see this is just on the road of Pope John Paul Road, Cebu City, and that's MTech across, and Caltex gas station of Pope John Paul Street. <laughs> 